Homestay is encouraging homeowners to turn over a spare room in their house. We want to encourage um, them to welcome people into their home, make a little bit of money on the side, um, and also, um, you know, just get involved in what the city is doing. Um, so I'm really just putting together a bedroom scenario to encourage people to do something very simple but something very effective with a wow factor uh, to welcome visitors to the city centre. Certainly for homestay, I think what I want to encourage people to do is to really um, make the most of a spare space that perhaps they just thought, you know, they'd shut the door on and never go in that room again. You know, that is valuable space, especially in 2017. The important thing I think to think about is it's not going to cost lots of money to create a beautiful space. Have a look at some inspiring examples of rooms that you love, maybe on uh, Pinterest or Instagram or other kind of social media networks. I got a lot of the furniture from um, a place called Emmaus. Basically, they have a big warehouse there which is full of unwanted brown furniture, all the stuff that nobody wants anymore really solidly built and beautiful pieces and with a lick of paint they're instantly transformed and so I put together um, really the whole bedroom using um, old furniture, uh, recycled textiles and recycled timber. You know really inexpensive stuff but sets the kind of scene and so not just a bed in the in the spare room just some you know a little kind of cozy spot where they can plan their day. That little chair I really love Fiverr. Chairs are really inexpensive in charity shops. And then this is a bedside table which I will rub down. So watch this space and it's just layering paint, one layer on top of each other, different colours, and then sanding down the layers to get this beautiful kind of distressed look. So that's um, going to be pride of place at the side of a bed. So I am always making bits and pieces for my home, usually kind of cushions and throws and um, I'm a collector, a bit of a hoarder. I like going into salvage yards, making things with bits of wood. Home is incredibly important for everybody's well-being and I think your home when you shut the door and you're in your own space, it's, it should always be a, an incredible nurturing space. Whatever you love to surround yourselves with and things that make you happy in your heart, that's what you should be looking at in your own home. Interior design is absolutely for everyone. You don't need uh, loads of money, you just need some inspiration. Um, and so I've just got heaps of inspiration just wandering around the city centre in Hull. All these beautiful charity shops selling old stuff that just, you know, is instantly transformed. So I think everyone should have a go really and enjoy it and not be restricted. Not, not to say, oh, I can't do that because I'm not artistic or I can't paint or I can't sew. It's have a go because creating your own space is incredibly rewarding.